How to fix your chaos problem. Is chaos feeling listed and tired? Are you underwhelmed with its performance? Even with your best efforts to make it work? Well, here are five tips and tricks on how to bring your chaos garden back into its full glory. One, your corn patch isn't screaming for blood and vengeance. You've been hydrating it with copious amounts of blood, yet to no avail. Give your little scar brand the glory he deserves. Remember to praise him at least 40,000 times a day. Maybe let some mice loose in the patch. The glory of the slaughter will bring him right back. Two, well, what about your Nurgle tree? Are the fruit small and sweet? The stench barely reaching your nose when you enter the garden? Your Kugath is getting too much light and happiness. That old Santa hat you have in the cellar? Get it up and cover his face. The dark and dampness will help bring him new splendor and stench. The glorious foul odors will reach you from miles away once more. Three, only in the past do you remember your garden's glory. You're sure the future can hold even better things. But right now, the present, your poor Tsinchian bushes seem to be a disaster, and you can't seem to rouse them no matter what you do. Well, first off, pick their pink berries yesterday, so you can harvest double the amount of blueberries tomorrow. Never, and I mean never, do it today. Be sure you water them last week and to preen them next week. Your Kairos bushes will be blooming in no time. Four, the moist plump salads, the long hard eggplants, the dew dripping from the tips, glittering in the sun, perfection in all things slanesh. This garden should shine brighter than any other, but the luster is dimmed, the shimmer gone, a wilted inkari looks up at you. You miss the tender rough feeling of sitting on your slaneshi plants. You sat on your kari plant for hours, yet it's still wilting away and you don't know what to do. Your slaneshi plant needs more than just the carnal pleasure of the flesh. You must give it art and culture, music and finery. And Kari and his flock need the best of all things. Five, now you understand the basics of taking care of your separate chaos patches. You thought you could advance and make it a whole rainbow garden full of all the shades of corruption. Well, no, they're all screeching and wilting and growing and breaking down. You've done everything right. You've praised your corn, covered your kugoth, fed your slanesh essences, and been confused about your tsinchian bushes enough for all eternity. But they're all wilting. Chaos undivided. You face a difficult problem, an important decision, consequences of mighty proportion if done wrong. So, sit on your corn, cover your tsinch, remember your kugoth, and bleed your slanesh. Now watch your garden bloom and spread chaos across the world. Fill your lungs with the glorious rainbow corruption. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Bye bye, Kiss Gardeners. Till next time.